Hello my crafty friends, Corin here from Corin Crafts. I hope you are well. I'm just going to show you this nice, quick, easy to post, elegant little card that we are going to be making today. We're going to be painting it with some watercolour paints, some gorgeous paints that look beautiful on black card. I'm going to show you, you can flip the colours if you want. But Let's get on and see how this is made. You really, really don't have to overly complicate something to get absolutely stunning results. And I thought today I would do something and I would have a go at doing some or using some watercolour paints on some black card. Now, they can look absolutely amazing when you do this. So what I've got is I've got a piece of black card and I've got my hellebore um, this is an outline floral die so when you look at the die you'll see it's got a lot of cut out bits so I've cut one out already and you can see this is what it looks like and I've just cut it out of regular white card I've not cut it out of anything fancy at all and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on to there it goes put it the right way up onto my black card so my black card is four inches by five inches so i've kept it nice and snug and nice and small so i'm going to get my precision glue gun i've had some love recently for the precision glue gun a few people have bought it and are saying how much they love it especially if you are um, struggling with your dexterity you hardly have to squeeze the glue nozzle at all and the glue comes out but what i love is i love the control i can just get the smallest amount to come out it really is a brilliant brilliant tool um if you can get one i would heartily recommend it they do sell out very very quickly and i had to go onto a wait list to get mine um so yeah you might need to but if you do find anywhere then please i can't can't recommend it enough it is just such a brilliant way of controlling your adhesive now having said that i don't want um, adhesive to sneak out from the edges of this just because of we're going to paint so I don't want there to be a barrier in the way so even though I've put such a small amount on I'm just putting my lid on even though I put such a small amount on I'm still going to turn it over and I'm still going to tap it on my hand now I have tested this glue out I know it's absolutely fine so what this is doing is it's spreading the glue out but it's also making sure I've got just the right amount on there so I'm going to pop that onto here and I've been really careful to try and lay it down where I want it to go first time so that it's not moving out right rub that glue off and then pat this down and can you see I've got no glue oozing out now if you don't want to do that the other thing you could do is do something like a dotty tape pen so that you only get glue where you need it to go or the other one is is to put a double-sided adhesive on the back of your white card before you stick it down now, why won't my card lift up? Why have I glued it down to there? I don't know what that's stuck on. There we go. Right, okay, so we've got this on here and it looks absolutely beautiful. I think you could just mat and layer that onto some coloured cards or unison you know, pattern and that would probably be it but we're going to go a little bit further than that as you know so i have got my moonbeam shimmering watercolors now you get moonbeam and you get sunbeam so they are the two sort of palettes that come with that sorry i've got a bit of glue oozing out of that so sunbeam is sunbeam it's for white card and moonbeam is for it was designed for black card it will work brilliantly on white card but it's just got something the mica powders in it mean that it shows up really really well on black card you've got this lovely runner of colors so when i've got that open like that what i tend to do is oh i just want to move that out of the way again spritz a water bottle nice light spray and i'll spray onto my paint so that means that what i'm doing <coughs> Sorry about that silly cough still what that means is what i'm doing is i'm just wetting the inks as much as i need to i'm going to put that to one side and i'm going to bring this here so this is how i'm going to work so piece of paper towel in my hand or you can have a cloth i've got a little pot of water here so i'm just going to be using that and i'm just going to paint this now what i love about this is you can you don't need to be a skilled painter you don't need to be careful you can go as wild as you want to go so i'm going to get this purple and i'm going to paint it into there now the only rule the only criteria is you need to make sure that where you've painted there's no black showing so i'm really trying to pull that paint so it's not watery so it's nice and thick 
and I'm going there. Now, do you notice it's going all over the white and it doesn't look particularly good, but trust me with the process, it will look amazing when it's finished. So I'm bringing that. So I'm just being careful to get down into all the corners because that's the only time for me that it doesn't look as good as if you don't puddle it down. And then I'm going to come into this one here and there. There we go. All the way down. So once I've got the purple, clean my brush. I'm going to go into my silver. I like this sparkly silver. See, you can see it's nice and thick because I've not got too much water on it. And then I'm going to take that to the top. So these are the hellebores. I love hellebores. Hellebores will be coming out quite soon, won't they? They're a very, they're a winter flower. Christ, Christmas rose is the other name sometimes for hellebores. So I do like these as well. They are lovely. So you can see on here, so what I'm doing is I'm not worrying about the white, but I'm making sure there's no black showing. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do, clean my brush again, and then I'm just going to go back to the purple, try and puddle it a little bit. And I'm just going to try and do it so that it sort of is a little bit blended just there. Again, not worrying. Oh, I've missed that silver off there. Not worrying at all about my white card. We're going to we're going to cover that over. So don't worry about that at all at this point. So there we go. So there's my purple and my silver. So I like that one. Next, I'm going to come in with. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? I love this glitter. That was quite nice as well. well. Actually, I could mix those two together. And I'm just going to bring that all the way down there. Oh, I've got to keep going with that glittery one. Beautiful. And like I say, do not worry about the white. You might worry that it's not going to look... If you keep it onto just the black, then that's fine. I am i don't want to take the time it would take just to get it on the back. Look at that with the silver mica in there. Isn't that um, gold mica? Why did I say silver? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I love this. I love cards or making projects that look or make me look really, really skilled, but don't take overly long to make. So then I'm going to come down with this lovely pink. I'm bringing it down. I'm working from the top down only because that gold is still very wet but that's going to help me to blend in a minute. So just making sure it's better to go all over the white than miss the black and, you know, miss having bits of black showing. So we're going to come down on all the way down there and then just bring this one down. Now, I'm not particularly thinking, oh, what colour are hellebores? I'm just thinking I'm enjoying painting and creating and using my favourite products. You can see these are my favourite products. Look at the state of that palette. It's absolute, It's so well loved, but I do love it. They are beautiful. So we're coming all the way down. Now, if you haven't got these, then and you've got other watercolours, then maybe you could apply them with some sort of, oops, some sort of sparkle pen to get that lovely glimmer and shimmer. That would work instead of water. You could use a sparkle pen. Anything like that would work equally as well. So once we've done that, let's make sure that's nice and rich. Look how well it covers the black. Isn't that absolutely amazing? It covers the white as well, but I'm not too concerned about that. Clean my brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of the yellow. I'm going to just do a little bit more of a dilute and I'm just going to just puddle that. I just sort of tend to go back and forth until I've got it just where I want it. Let's just dilute a little bit more diluted down just to cover there. That's better. Just adding a little bit more water gives me that sort of diluted effect for doing that. And again, remember, <coughs> as with anything, these will dry paler. So next one, I'm going to go in with this green. And we can do on here. And I'm going to do these leaves. These leaves that are like the segmented ones. Just there. And again, I am really not worrying about the white. I'm just concentrating on the getting the colour on nice and richly. And you'll notice, actually, I'd gone over with the pink into that leaf, but it doesn't matter. The green has covered it up perfectly. Cover that over. The other thing I was going to do is then I was going to take this darker green and I was going to do these leaves so that I've got two 
I, I could see two different types of leaves because I think I've got two different flowers on here. I know it says hellebores, but I just thought the leaf you've got different appearance to the leaves. So all I do is do that like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm going to finish colouring this one in a minute. I'm going to leave that in a minute as is. So once you've done that, let me just get my brush clean and put the lid on my paint because those will now dry back out. What you've got, look at this. So that is it wet and that is it dry. Now, the one thing I would say is the next step, you do need it dry. So look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how that shimmers. Don't we just love that? Absolutely gorgeous. So I have cut a second one, again, just out of white. I love how you get this embossed detail. I'm going to turn that over back to the precision glue gun. Or again, you could be using your tacky glue um, or you could be using your dotty tape pen um, or you could be using your double sided adhesive on the back. Um, sticks to do a lovely sheet of that that you could be using that would work really well you just put it on the back of your card before you die cut and then you just have to poke all the little bits out and you've got adhesive on the back so that works really well loads of different ways I always love to think that there's there's all, more than one way to achieve your finished look um, I'm going to show you one maybe two ways and you will probably have lots of others um, but that everything there is no right or wrong way so we've done that i'm just going to tap it again just to get the excess off please just be careful make sure you know you're you're not overly sensitive to the glue before you do something like that and then i'm going to pop that over there now look at that you can see how the paint's all over the white and it doesn't look that good the minute you pop this onto here just make sure you get it lined up perfectly. We don't want to see it. I'm not after a drop shadow on this one. I'm after a perfect fit. Get that glue off my hand. And then I can press that down. Now, wow, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I just think it looks fantastic for having that clean white look. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to do maybe a little bit controversial here. I'm then going to do matte black onto black you think why can't see it just gives you a beautiful effect so i'm going to pop that just with some tacky glue you'll notice that when i'm doing things that don't require precision maybe a little bit more glue i tend to revert back to my tacky glue i'm not going to waste my precision glue gun um on a, you know on large areas that's just my thinking it's entirely up to you you might not want to have lots of different glues on the go work do whatever works so this works for me, so I can pop that onto there. So I've just got, oh, a little bit of glue oozing, there we are. And that great thing about tacky glue is it does dry clear. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now, all I've done is I've taken another piece of exactly the same black card that was A4, folded it in half, and then cut it down to size. So it's just a little bit bigger, so let me see. I didn't even measure it, I've just put the piece on. So it is... Four and three quarters by, yeah, six, five and three quarters. So we've gone up three quarters of an inch from our original card. And then I've just put a piece of white on. This isn't really, um, this isn't my multi-purpose. It's quite a thin white. I didn't want too heavy. And I'm going to pop those on there. But before I do that, out comes the sturdy sticks to tape. Um, Again, I'm trying to think. I've had a few comments from a few of my lovely American followers saying that you do smaller cards. You don't do as much dimension just because of postage out there. And I do know because apparently this week in the UK, our stamps are going up £1.65 for a first class stamp. And that's if it's a regular flat envelopes i don't even know what a large letter would be if you've got a bit of dimension so yeah i can understand why people are wanting to create the illusion of depth and um you know creating that look that with with you know with the look of depth and rather than actual physical dimension and then save your really beautiful ones with all the big flowers on for when you're actually seeing somebody and you can hand deliver it so make sure i've got that the right way up and then I'm just going to pop that on to there. There you go. I just love that little pop of white. It just pulls everything together, doesn't it? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Then out of my sentiment sheets, I've got my happy birthday. Let's see if I can find a pair of tweezers. And I'm going to pick that up. And I'm just going to put some 3D glue on the back. You could put 
foam pads on the back. Now, the only reason I'm not putting foam pads on the back is because I'm going to put it on somewhere that's lots of different layers. So we're going to put it across here. So we've got the card base, we've got the raised height of two pieces of white, and then we've got the dip inside. Now, if I use um, foam, um, foam pads, it'll just sit on the top. I've used 3D glue, and that will now sink in. I didn't actually know where that was going until I popped that down. Um, there you go, that popping that on there. The only thing I would do to finish this off, because you know me, I love my jewels and gems, is a couple of water droplet drops just around the edge, just like that. And that is all I would do. Now, isn't that beautiful? A gorgeous way to paint onto your black card. I'm loving that. I just think that's really lovely. It's really nice to um, do something a little bit different. Not too much dimension. I'm just pushing that down a little bit. Not too much dimension, but absolutely stunning. And even more so because you will have hand painted it in the colours that you want. Now, if you don't like the black, you could be doing where I put black card, you could be doing white. And where I've done white card, you could be doing black. So you could do exactly the same, but in reverse. So have the positive and the negative. It's entirely up to you. But there you go. I hope you like that. Let me know if you have a go at trying to make something like that, because I think that is really, really pretty. OK, I'm going to um, sign off for now. Uh, hopefully this is a nice quick video for you. Links, as always, are in the description, um, including my Buy Me A Coffee page. And thank you to everybody that's recently um, contributed to that. Really helps me to um, keep going with the channel. So for now, you take care. Enjoy your crafting. Make sure you enjoy your happy time. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. Take care for now. Bye.